Oh my gosh, is that a mocus? Ah yes, the perfect excuse to draw hot man abs. Juicy lips. Okay, TikTok, let's see what you got. Okay, so we got these uh, crying eyes. Oh. Oh my gosh, is that a mocus? We gotta try that out. Let's just sketch it real quick and then color. Yes, very smegsy coloring. Done. Smegsy. Okay, uh, subtle differences that make my art better. Okay, so first we have adding shadows and then this soft light thingy and then random spots of color. And finally, these geometric shapes. Ooh, and highlights on the juicy lips. Very good tip. Nice. Okay, well, I have this work in progress. Let's try it out. I put like the general shading first. So let's put the multiply on the hair. Not too much. And then on the skin. Juicy lips. This is looking a bit too harsh so let's change the color of the line art and then we're gonna go select this soft light and put it here on the side hmm looking good so far okay so now let's put the brightness what the heck what color did you use you didn't show it in the tiktok man i'm struggling okay well that's good enough and now let's add some random colors ah yes smegsy blue and pink the pink low-key looks ugly but eh okay this wasn't in the tutorial but let's add a dash of light lastly we got the random random stuff in the eyes. Now I'm kind of lazy so I'll just lasso tool this baby up and then BAM! Okay, uh, I'm gonna go tweak it a bit. Okay, so I tweaked it a bit. Hmm, this TikTok was not bad. The only thing though, I don't like the eyes. They're so sparkly and full of life. Ew. I prefer the dead inside eyes. See? See that? It's magsy. Juicy. Okay, moving on. We're gonna talk about Rembrandt lighting, which is when half the face is in shadow and you have a triangle of highlight on the cheek. Real. Just remember the little Dorito. Okay, the, the little Illuminati exhibit A. Do you find the triangle, my children? Bam! If you must know, the Remembrance lighting, or whatever it's called, is the smegsiest light placement ever. It's the most flattering, okay? Photographers use that type of lighting to make people hotter and slimmer, but I don't really remember the source. 11 out of 10 for smegsiness. Next. I broke digital art. I did it. This is a real time video of me just drawing over. I didn't even need to do anything. It's just a brush. How is it this easy? How is it that easy? Ooh, interesting. Let's try it out. Ah yes, the perfect excuse to draw hot man abs. Let's just do the base like real quick. Very solid pecs. And I'm also gonna yossify the face just because. Okay, so we got this simple and fine body. What the heck kind of brush did you even use? Oh, okay, so it's right here. Okay, so let's try this bad boy out. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool if you want to make your art look muddy. I think I've tried this tip out before before when I was a kid, I've heard of it. Yeah, it sucked. It makes things muddy and unsimpable. What you should do instead is be confident in your shadows, okay? Define shadows. We got here smegsy abs, right? You can just generalize everything into these simple, solid shapes. Once you got that, you can go ahead with your drawing. Ah yes, drawing smegsy male body once again. Okay, so now we got this smegsy body. Just map out the solid shapes that you traced a while ago. That's gonna be your guy. And then BAM! Amen. But you know what guys, let's give this hack another chance. Let's try with a smaller brush this time. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna try to define it with an eraser. Okay, uh, yeah, no. Next. Add blush. And blend. Okay, and buddy, in case you didn't know, there's blush. a tool called Airbrush, you freaking airhead. If you're finding your art a little flat or unfinished, I have a couple of tips for you. My first suggestion is to use very directed light. Like you can see here, the light is coming directly above. Secondly, make sure you're using ambient lights. We'll make things look nice and alive. Finally, this is a really easy one, but it works wonders. Use blur. Okay, well, let's go back to the Amogus drawing. I actually follow the tip here. So first, let's lay out the smegsy colors. And then add the redness, just so she doesn't look dead inside. And now we're gonna put this smegsy shadow, like so. Okay, let's change the color. Okay, next is the ambient light. I put this little pinkish kind of color, but blue would look good as well. Blue is like the smegsiest ambient light, okay? It makes your drawing look more chef's kiss. Your coloring is gonna 
gonna look less muddy. Now I'm actually gonna blur the shadow just a little bit, just so it doesn't look flat. Okay, let's add some yassifications. Alright. Now let's blur this baby. I'm gonna use this free blur tool I found in the asset store, and I'm gonna blur everything but the face. It blurs pretty well though, I mean. Zam! Okay, this is the before and after. Pretty W tip, man. Okay, next. Okay, so this guy is duplicating it and filling it with white. And then they blurred and then did whatever the heck that was. And then used an airbrush to finally make an outline. Okay, okay, uh, that's a lot of steps. I hate to break it to you, but that's not a hack. That's a step-by-step -step process on how to suffer even more. <laughs> Laughs in Clip Studio. So we're at, like, Clip Studio, right? All you gotta do is click this button. It's called Border Effect. And then BAM! It's that easy. No cap for real for real. You can customize the color and adjust the thickness. BAM, baby! Work smart, not hard. Next. Okay, so common mistakes when drawing the e- <laughs> Oh, your voice is so mamma mia. What I see most often from students is that they simply don't draw them. Okay, okay, let me get this straight. The number one mistake when drawing ears is that they don't draw them? Well, damn, that's like saying the number one reason why I broke is that I don't have any money, but okay. Right about halfway right here, we get a bump like this, then we get a big swooping line that goes all the way up and around the outside of this form, and then right here in this big space, we get a bubble letter Y. Okay, that tip is very helpful and all. But you want to know how an expert does things? A mega professional artist cloud chaser does things? Well, take a look at my Instagram. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I'm shamelessly plugging my Instagram. Ears? I don't know her. Look at my art. Bam! Bam! Shazam! They got their ears covered. Because they got headphones. Big brain. Sony, please sponsor me. So the next time you want to draw ears and face your fears, just avoid them. Hashtag stay toxic. Well, Zam. Okay, so this guy is using a brush, a finger brush. Okay, let's download this brush right here. It is always Mendokusaku, okay, to draw a finger and become a negligent line. Okay, whatever. Download. Yeah. So let's just go here and see the downloads. There's a bunch of wiggly things in here. I'm guessing it's for different fingers, but I'm only gonna use one because I'm lazy. Okay, let's try it out. Dang. Well, dang. Pretty cool. Convenient, I guess. I give it a 7 out of 10. Are you tired of drawing hair like this? Cross mark. Use this easy tutorial. Hmm, what are you trying to do with this brush? Bro, are you trying to draw a bowl cut? What is this, Justin Bieber? Then they use this filter to turn it into Leonard. Hmm, Zam. Oh wait, that's it? Okay, I mean, this is a good tip. Well, that is if you want to draw Frisk from Undertale. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you guys liked this video. Watch this video next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.